This is a magic pot, the woman puts a cake in it, it copies the cake, she puts money in it, it copies the money. But where did she get this pot? Many years ago, a milkman accidentally found a pot when he was digging a well. He thought it was just an ordinary container, so he cleaned it and used it to hold milk. After a while, the milk flowed down to his feet. When the milkman looked up, he was surprised to see that milk was flowing out of the pot non-stop. He tried to pour the milk out, but when all the other large containers were filled, there was still some milk in the pot. It was only when he turned the pot completely upside down that the milk disappeared. He realized that he had found a magic pot. With this magic pot, the milkman soon became a billionaire, and then he turned his small house into a big villa. The milkman's wealth soon attracted the attention of thieves, and two thieves sneaked into his villa during the night. The thieves found the pot, which they thought was made of gold, so they intended to steal it. The thieves were spotted by security guards as they were leaving, and the guards chased them to a bridge. One of the thieves accidentally dropped the magic pot into the river, and the magic pot went downstream. A few days later, the magic pot was picked up by an old lady by the river. The next morning, the old lady filled the pot with cakes and went to sell them on the street. She was surprised to find that after selling hundreds of cakes, the pot was still filled with cakes. She tries to put a banknote in it, and she is surprised to find that it copies a large amount of banknotes. To prevent the pot from being stolen, she temporarily buries it near a cow sheet, and then she goes to the bank to deposit the money. But she is caught in a bank and sentenced to 30 years in prison. Because the banknotes copied from the pot all had the same number, she is treated as a counterfeiter. The old lady is bullied every day in the prison, and this time she happens to be seen by the newcomer Lisa. Lisa gives the bully a tough lesson, she saves the lady. To repay Lisa, the lady tells Lisa and her sister Masha the secret of the magic pot. Soon Lisa and Masha are released from prison. The two sisters pose as veterinarians and find the farm where the magic pot is hidden, saying they are here to vaccinate the cattle. But the gatekeeper tells them to give up, because the crazy pinkhorn bull has already attacked dozens of people. Knowing that the magic pot is buried near the cow sheep, there is no way the sisters will just give up. The two sisters are carefully approaching the bull. Suddenly, the boss of the farm returns, and the two sisters find that the boss is actually someone they know. It turns out that the sisters are con women. A few days ago, they cheated the boss out of his car and stripped him naked, causing him to have to walk home in a grass skirt. Seeing the enemy right in front of him, the boss immediately orders his men to surround them. Lisa rushes into a car next to her, Masha follows her into the car, and then the two of them break open the door and escape. They failed in their first attempt, but soon Lisa comes up with a new idea. Knowing that the farm is hiring, she bribes Yogi, a homeless man, to work undercover at the farm. The next morning, Yogi goes to the farm to apply for a job, and he is successfully hired by the boss. At night, Yogi follows Lisa's instructions to dig the pot next to the cow sheep, while Lisa is hiding under the wall. Suddenly, Yogi seems to have found something. He picks it up and it turns out to be a rock. That's when Lisa notices a container on the side with water constantly flowing out of it, yes, that's it. The clueless Yogi is about to throw the magic pot to Lisa, but what he doesn't know is that a snake has already crawled into the pot. The pot hits the ground while several snakes are thrown out along with it, and Lisa is terrified by the snakes. The sound here attracts the attention of the boss, who shoots at them with a pistol, they have to retreat. Seeing that they want the pot so badly, the boss realizes that there must be something special about it. He gathers all his people to study the pot, but they still can't figure out what's so special about it. Suddenly, a truck crashes through the wall, it is Lisa who comes to rob the pot again. It makes the boss feel very confused, he asks Lisa what is so special about this pot, he has already confirmed that the pot is not made of gold. Soon, he will see the power of this pot. All of a sudden, the boss's gun accidentally falls into the pot and Lisa's driver takes the opportunity to take the pot over. Now the gun is in Lisa's hand, she immediately fires two shots at the ground as a warning to the boss. The boss laughs because he knows there are only two bullets in the gun. Lisa is amused, yes, the gun only has two bullets, but she has infinite guns. Then Lisa pulls out guns from the pot one by one, and everyone is terrified. That's the magic of the pot, it can replicate anything infinitely. Now that they have got the pot, they quickly get in a car and drive away. However, the boss has already seen the power of the pot, there is no way he would just let them take it away. Then dozens of people are chasing after Lisa. But at this critical moment, the driver makes a fatal mistake, out of curiosity, he checks the pot and turns it upside down. As a result, the magic disappears, and what's worse is that their car gets stuck in the mud. They are forced to get out of the car. Lisa grabs a stick and starts attacking like crazy, for a while, the bad guys don't even dare to get close. But there are simply too many of them, and they have to keep running. The two are soon surrounded on a bridge, seeing that there is no way out, they jump straight into the river. They go downstream and eventually make it to the shore, luckily the magic pot is hooked by Lisa's foot. With the help of the magic pot, the two soon get a lot of money. They never forget their promise to the old lady, 
and put most of their money into charity. If you have a pot like this, what would you do with it? I am Movie 8, thanks for watching.